Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how to add uh, procedurally placed trees to your low poly terrain. <clears throat> I'm going to start with uh, the scene from the previous examples, right, where I have a low poly terrain, and I'm just going to add a new component, which is called the low poly terrain objects. This component is fairly simple. It takes a list of prefabs right here, object prefabs, um, and a density map which is just a texture map, and places uh, objects, prefabs, uh, on the terrain based on the density map and the few settings that you see here. So I'm going to start by uh, importing some trees, uh, low poly trees, I might as well, right? Into my project right here. <clears throat> and then I'm going to set up my uh, terrain object generator uh, by adding a few trees so cartoon trees there we go uh, let's add mm, let's see which ones those tall trees one two and then maybe I'll place uh, some of the pine trees there we go there we go so I have my three prefabs here um, and then I need to select a uh, density map so a density map is just a grayscale map I have one included with the asset uh, right here, tree cover. And if you look at it, you can see that uh, you know it's just black and white. The white areas are the areas where the uh, generator will place lots of trees, and the black areas the areas where it won't place any. And of course, you can you know the you can paint those maps or generate them. I'll show you how to generate those with a tool like World Machine. Uh, in a separate video, but I'm just going to uh, drop it in right here and then hit generate. All right, we got lots of trees, a few too many. In fact, <laughs> this, even with uh, you know an LED system, this is going to be a few too many trees. So I'm just going to change the uh, object probability, which is the first setting right here. Uh, I'll divide it by 10 and regenerate. There we go. Now it's something more manageable, um, where you can see it placed the trees um, on the land properly based on the density map. So there's no trees on the heights, uh, on the high peaks, but there's a lot in the in the valley. The uh, other settings, this little height offset, uh, allows you to just sort of like sink the trees into the ground if needed, or vice versa, pull it up. Um, the scale min and max just allows you to define, you know, how to scale the the, the objects on an instance base uh, randomly between the two values, <clears throat> and then the LED distance and transition time are similar to the LED distance uh, for the terrain itself, uh, except past this distance it will just simply stop uh, drawing trees, uh, and that's because you know. You just can't deal with that many trees, that many objects specifically. Um, even you know, with dynamic batching, it may it may not always work. So um, let's you know, fly through the level, see what this looks like. And there we go. You can see the distance right here; it's pretty noticeable. And you know, the, the as the chunks come into view, essentially the the trees are popped in. So if you're dealing with, you know, uh, an environment that's more canyony and you know where you don't have really huge vistas, it's working. It works pretty well. If you uh, have ooh, larger levels, you probably want to set the distance further. So we'll just do that. Change it to 2,000 and run. You don't actually need to regenerate for this to work. There we go. See, this is more. This feels more correct, you know, and it's still popping some in and out based on the distance. But there you have it. This is the basic of the, the tree generation. All your trees are just objects, and if you want to be able to select them, uh, or rather view them in the hierarchy, all you have to do is just uncheck this uh, checkbox here. And it will make, I'll uh, regenerate. And it will make the 
the trees, the terrain chunks, and the trees that are apparent to those chunks, uh, selectable, and you know, and uh, you can do things with them programmatically. Oh, yeah, I think I need to regenerate. There we go. Um, so if I click on this chunk, you can see right here the objects and all the trees are right here. They themselves have LODs, like this prefab that I uh, imported, which I got on the asset store, by the way. Um, you know, have their own LOD system, or use, use Unity's LOD system. So they will, on top of being completely turned off by the system, um, <clears throat> they will also switch their own models as needed to improve your performance a little bit. So anyway, that's it for the uh, object generation. You could, of course, place things other than trees. Hopefully this is useful to you, and thank you for watching.